this, this might be another Korean specific uh, culture as well, but many Korean couples celebrate the 100th, 200th, 300th day of their relationship or like annual anniversaries of the day they started dating. Such dates are regarded as like major milestones of their relationship. So do couples in your country also celebrate such anniversaries? Like if not, what days are like regarded as special or important to couples? So Stephanie, do you want to begin? Yeah, this question is very, <laughs> I don't know if it's funny the word. <laughs> Because when I came here, three I have two two of very good. I mean, one uh, two of my good friends. They are Dominican, she, and they are dating with Korean boys. They are like official boyfriend and girlfriend. And one day she told me like, "Oh, I'm in anniversary today." And I said like, "Do you have one year?" And they said, "No, we have 100 days." And I said, "What?" <laughs> because this is not common at all in my country. And, and she said, yes, and she gave me a ring. And I was like, a ring? Are you seriously? Because in my, in, my, in my culture, when you give a ring to a person, it's when you become this person, your fiance. I mean, you're just about a, a few months to get married. If you give a ring to a girl, it's because in maybe six months or one year last, you will be married. So she told me, yes, because in Korean, in Korean culture, then I learned, in Korean culture, uh, you, we celebrate 100 days, 200 days, 300 days, 500 days, and we do a special date and a special things, and we give rings with the name of each other in the ring, and it was like, okay, then what do you do to get married? Because for me, I mean, this is like the step before get married. So it was very, like, shocked when I uh, noticed this, because in my country, we, it's very different of the couple. Uh, we, we celebrate when you have a month because, you know, you have this period that you're in love with the boyfriend, you know, new boyfriend. So you celebrate the first month, two months, three months, uh, until the year. When you have one year, you celebrate like the first anniversary. Then usually it's common that the, um, the celebration not stop, but not be so, so frequently. So after you have one year, you may be celebrating one year and a half one year and eight months, but it's not like eight months like when you was before the year. And also like the gift is bigger when you have an anniversary, annual anniversary, like one year, you like a special gift or something. But if it's like a month, you give, just go to dinner or something special, but not like a big, big celebration as you have one year. But no, we don't celebrate 100, 200, 300, 400, 500. <laughs> When I read this question, now I really ought to ask myself was really because uh, <laughs> even in Ghana, we, even in boyfriend and girlfriend relationships, there is no kind of celebration of um, one month or hundred days or it, um, it is commonly seen in 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 married couples, and even with that, they celebrate from the day they got married. So maybe a, a year after they got married, then they are going to celebrate their first anniversary. But whilst you are dating or in a relationship, there is nothing like a celebration of a one year, a um, hundred days. So maybe I should introduce that in Ghana when I, when I, when I go back. <laughs> yeah, so these anniversary celebrations are mostly seen in Ghana among the married couples and not the young ones who are dating or in a relationship. It's, it's very like, after a year, you don't celebrate anniversaries as often. And I'd say every like five years, so five, 10, 15, 20, you do something really big if you're a married couple or a really long relationship couple, like go on a trip or go to a really, really expensive restaurant. Mm. And there, it obviously depends on like each couple, but I've heard of a lot of couples celebrating like the day they had their first kiss or this was the place where we, we first met, like those types of milestones that were important to each couple. But 100 day, 200 day, 300 <laughs> days, just too much work to keep a track of. 
was wondering, uh, because what uh, Kiana said just bring me uh, a thought. If actually it's too much work comes like the days. So it's way much easier, like the days of the month. Like if it's January 2nd, it will be the second of every month. But it's not like days. So do you have any application or something to remind you like how many days or something uh -huh. like that? That actually brings us to the next question, actually. Like, like the younger generation often use mobile applications, like such as it's like we have something called Bitsqueen to send text messages or most importantly, remember anniversaries or how many days we have been dating and also share photos. You can talk about this as well, like whether like there are similar applications or methods or like means of communicating with them, or do you just use like text or like or some other like if there are any other applications or programs? Korea have mm. these traits. Mm. Yeah, and yeah, they put too much effort in relationship. Like it's hard working mm. thing. And I, I want to yeah. add. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I want to talk about the celebration in Turkey, and it's it's same is it's same with you know USA. It's it's not that different, and we just celebrate the how can I say the day we start dating. If if it becomes one year or two years, but the problem is lately girls are especially girls are really onto this one. They just want to celebrate everything, as I heard from my friends, especially male friends, because they want to celebrate first kiss, they want to celebrate first month, two, two months, no second. It's just really so, I don't know, actually, I have never met a Turkish guy that long, so I don't know, I really don't know, but um, it's really, how can I say, it's really, important to remember to date start dating because if you forget this it can be a reason for breakup really <laughs> if you don't love yeah. me so you don't remember this you forgot this then okay this it's really important that's one of the most like most cliched like comments that korean guys hear when they are in a relationship with a girl like do you know like what day it is today? Like the girl asks the guy, yeah, and then yeah, the guy, yeah, yeah, sure. like he's sweating now to answer. <laughs> like he, he doesn't realize what the day is. So, and that 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 really that's what really happened in Korea. So I feel for that guy in Turkey. Yeah, girls like this. Girls like this kind of stuff more. Uh, interesting. Also, our celebration is after marriage. It's like one year marriage, two years marriage, mm -hmm. uh, and like a long uh, run in the long run. Actually, these celebrations happen privately, like between uh, two marriage couples. Like the husband brings like some kind of gift. Uh, basically, it's gold, it's gold mm -hmm. uh, for his wife, mm -hmm. and cake gold. and flower, flowers. Okay, let's go to Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> and if he like forgets about it let's say bye bye to his life <laughs> yeah, wow. he will be scolded like for i don't know maybe not next nine months or the next yeah, yeah, yeah. anniversary <laughs> uh, we have kind of um when you have, when you're married, every year have like kind of, an, not a name, but it's like, okay, it's a type of wedding. It's like you re-celebrate your wedding, like your bows. So it's like, for example, uh, when you have a five-year married, is the wedding of wood. When you have 50 years married, is the, uh, the wedding of gold. So it's like when you have 25 years to marry is the wedding of silver and so on, so on, so on. And the 45 years marry is the wedding of Safiro. It's like for an special gem or rock. 
every every year. So uh, this it's not like rules or laws that you have to do, but traditional uh, couples, for example, my, my parents, they celebrate this year, 25 years of marriage. So they somehow did a little small like wedding. It was the silver wedding. So oh. like everything was not actually silver, <laughs> but everything was like silver color just to mean in like the silver. So it's supposed that when they get 50 years of marriage, we are gonna have like a gold wedding, everything just gold color and you no, know, she will like marry him again. Of course, she will not marry him again, but symbolic. So we have this kind of thing. Wow. All right, we have talked about the anniversary culture specific to Korea for our third and fourth question. Please look forward for our fourth video and please take a look at our next question.